For English, say or press one. One. For account access or any other questions, say or press one. One. To access your account, please enter or say your account number. Eight, nine, two, three. I'm sorry, I didn't hit that. Please say or enter your account number. Eight, nine, two, three. When's Dad gonna be home? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Please hold while I connect you to a customer service representative. Hey, out. Hey, honey. Hey. Hi, honey. Um, listen, I'm on the other line with the bank right now. Oh, I'm just calling to see if you guys are ready to go. To go? To the bed and breakfast in La Veta. Our reservations are at 7. Oh, oh yeah. I, you know what? Tonight's really not going to work. I'm almost home. I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, stay within the lights. <laughs> like that. Good job. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, okay, I'm really sorry. Here's the thing. Bailey is really behind on her project and I'm this close with the budget and I already thought a casserole and it's gonna go to waste. Yeah, you know, when I asked you to do this three weeks ago, you told me to put it on the calendar. And, I know. well, I put it on the calendar. So now I'd like to take my family out to a nice dinner. So how about it guys, who's with me? Me! Another one and a half percent trim on the budget, and we can increase our mortgage payment and pay off our house by September 2022. Speaking of budgets, I talked to Margie today in accounting, and she was telling me about this national poetry writing contest for moms. Don't you think that'd be perfect for you? Where did this expense of 1749 on September 8th come from? Do you have to do that right now? Do we have to drive two and a half hours to a bed and breakfast to have dinner as a family? All right. What? All right. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Let's put this away. This is not a family dinner, Georgia. It's an intervention. An intervention? Yes, an intervention. And look at yourself. You can't even ride in the car without working on some project. What are you saying? Are you saying you're not happy with the way I'm handling things? No, the way you handle things are perfect. That's the problem. Everything is so perfect that it's... Well, it's not. Can I get this? Maybe you should start writing again. Ugh. Well, you're the one that's always telling me that you have all these poems swimming around inside your head, and if you don't get them out, then... Don't start again with the writing thing. I'm raising four children. I don't have time to write. Well, what if you made time? I'm not just a magician. I can't just create time. Well, maybe I can. Right. I'll believe that when I see it. Why don't you try the doorbell? My doorbell, I want to hear it. Hello, you must be the Moore family. Follow me. Do you know the woman? Uh, no. She just winked at you. Guess I still got it. Nice. <laughs> Boys, keep it down. My dad is fine. Do you know that half the outlets don't even have covers? It's fine. <sighs> Sweetheart, I appreciate that you want to do this project by yourself, but you're really behind. And if you want to get into that social studies class next year, you've really got to nail it. Can I help with that? No. No? It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Just, just leave it alone. The reason I had us all come out here is because I wanted to do something nice for Daddy your mother. Nice. That's right. She is nice, isn't she? I will. And she works so very hard for us. And she is such a good mom to all of you. But did you know that your mom is more than just a mom? Did you know that she writes beautiful poems? 
I didn't know that. That's true. What are you doing? I'm gonna read one of your poems. No, they don't want to hear that. I want to hear it. Oh. You see? It's fine. Now this one she wrote a couple years ago. My sleeping baby woke up seven years old yesterday. And it hit me again how much I want to teach her the things I haven't managed to learn myself. How, like my freckles, she is bound to inherit the questions I still don't have the answers for. I have crafted you a beautiful story, my love. I have written it in my mind, mopping floors and cleaning dishes, which makes it impossible for you to read it. So I give you a hug, tell you that I love you, and fear to my core that won't be enough. Overly sentimental and lacking a clear voice. What? Can we go home now, please? We've had enough of this intervention. So, how was everything? It was fine. Everything's good. Oh, I'll get that. Oh! My apologies. Follow me. Wait until I tell you what your husband's done for you. Come on. One hundred dollars for a, a cab ride? No, no, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. He was only trying to do something nice for you. He took my phone and my wallet. Speaking of which, how much did my husband spend on all of this? I really shouldn't say. It was a gift. Well, I managed the budget, so... I don't know, it was something like $270. Can I use your phone again? Sure. Hi, you've reached Derek Moore. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Unless you're my wife, in which case you need to hang up the phone and go take a bath. There are bath salts in your suitcase. Derek, I, I know, I know that you're just trying to get me to relax and, and write poetry or whatever, but please don't leave me here. Shall I show you to your room? Now you have to, you can't just force a person to write. But thank you for this. Ooh. Just try and make me write poetry. First things first, Derek's fun money minus 270 equals negative 158 and 32 cents. <laughs> Nine forty. Breakfast is ready. The water this morning was cold as ice. The lamp in my bedroom didn't work, and our steaks were totally overdone. Yeah. I can't reimburse you, but when you come back, I'll give you a discount. 
I'm not coming back. And I most definitely will not be writing a favorable review in my blog. And I have 47 followers. 47? Good for you. Forward me the link, I love blogs. How's our favorite prisoner today? Fine, thank you. Can I ask you a question? Sure. It doesn't bother you at all when people complain about your... <laughs> Come here, let me show you something. You know, this place was a complete dump when I first bought it. Half of that wall was missing. <laughs> Everyone said I was wasting my time and my money, but I knew I had to have it. It was my dream. Oh, I pestered that ceiling guy for weeks and weeks, but he never came. Finally, I decided just to leave it. I kind of like it, you know? There's something perfect about the imperfection. She could let things go like that. I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I'm pretty tightly wound. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know I don't look at anymore, but I actually used to be a pretty good poet. Used to be. Well, then I got married and had four kids and... What, you can't be married and have four kids and be a poet? Well, you have to publish and it's a ton of work. I didn't say anything about publishing. Well, that's what poets do. They, they publish poems. No, poets live their lives with gusto and courage. They take the sunshine into their skin and turn it into energy. They look at a leaf or a child's hand, a broken flower pot, and see the universe. Georgia. Oh, sorry. Something about the words broken and child's hand made me think of Derek. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Ah! Hey, Bailey, how's that paper coming? The truth is, my poems aren't good. I don't believe it. No, it's true. <laughs> Last year, well, I should tell you, I have a friend who has a friend that's a publisher, and and I sent her all my work, and, and? oh, she hated it. I mean, not only that, she wasn't at all shy about saying so. I, I came to the conclusion that since most of my talents lie in being a mother, that I should put all my focus and energy on that. Really? So let me get this straight. You stopped writing poems because a friend of a friend didn't like them. Well, she's a publisher. <laughs> Georgia, let me show you something else. Come here. You know what that is? A garbage disposal? No, not just a garbage disposal. It's a state-of-the-art disposal. It's got a 40-ounce stainless steel grinding chamber. You know, the ceiling's all good and well, but when someone really gets my goat, I like to take my angry feelings and write them down throw them into the disposal and let it run. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Dear Peterson lady, you thought my poems were sentimental garbage, but you were wrong. Seriously? Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that feel? Good. <laughs> that actually felt good. It's got that little burn smell. It really gives it a nice <laughs> My roast! <gasps> oh! oh. Not again. Oh. Ah! oh, does this happen a lot? Oh, I could call the meat. No, I don't have enough time. Do you, do you know anything that I can make quick uh, that goes with potatoes? There's this one thing that I make. It's, it's really easy and it's really fast and my kids like it. and it has this nice glaze on top. Oh, Georgia, it looks amazing. <laughs> you sure you don't want to try it first? 
Why not? Mm. Roger, you must be a great writer. Because this is pure poetry. You're kidding. No, it's Aww, amazing. Thanks. Mm -hmm. In my mind's eye. Oh, come on, Georgia. You know better than that. Shakespeare. Down the dusty roads of time. Oh, great. Good morning. I'm not here. Georgia? Leave me alone. Hey, you can't just come in here. What happened? That lady was right. This is all just sentimental, cliched garbage. I'm hopeless. The dusty roads of time. Hey! What did you expect? To win a Nobel Prize overnight? Look, the important thing is you got the poems out. You don't understand. This was my chance. To do what? To show that Margie Peterson lady that I can write. The publisher? I thought we got rid of her in the disposal. She came back again this morning. Oh, Georgia. You know nearly everyone raved about your casserole last night. Really? But one gentleman who arrived on a Harley said, and I quote, shockingly bland. So, what are you gonna do? Stop making chicken and noodles because some guy on a Harley doesn't like them? He thought they were bad. <sighs> cares if he did. He's what my 15-year-old nephew calls a hater. The point is, you can't let the haters stop you from doing what you love. That's my cue. <sighs> Georgia, your husband's on the phone. Thanks. Hello? Hi, Georgia. I'm sorry, I promised myself I wouldn't call you, but Bailey left her project to the last minute, and now she's having a meltdown. She locked herself in the bathroom. Put her on. Bailey? Go away! Your mom wants to talk to you. Leave me alone! She's not budging. Okay, fine. Tell her if she wants that new Justin Bieber CD, she has to open the door. Got it. All right. Hey, Bailey, if you want the new Justin Bieber CD, you better open the door right now. Really, Dad? Really? Okay, what else you got? I hate to do this with a 10-year-old, but it usually works. What? Tell her she has till the count of three. Count of three, all right. All right, Bailey, you have till the count of three to open that door. One. Two. Two and a half. All right, that's it. the phone under the door. 
Well, do you want to tell me what's going on then? My project is stupid and I hate it. I see. And, and Michelle, she has like this diorama of Jamestown with little pigs and outhouses and everything. And then Jesse, she has like this life-size Ponce de Leon and mine is just stupid. Well, what did you expect, honey, to have this great explorer project overnight? Okay, Bailey, listen to me. This is just one little project. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you said it had to be perfect. I know, I know what I said, but... But... I was wrong. Mommy isn't always right. I'm sorry I put so much pressure on you. I'm sure whatever you have is gonna be just fine, okay? Okay, this is what I want you to do. Print out what you have so far and put it in your backpack. And when I get home tonight, we'll work on it together, okay? Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Put your dad on. Georgia, hi. Look, here's the thing. Save it. Just come and get me, okay? Ready to check out? All set. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Just save that one about the dusty road. It's got potential, I think. <laughs> Bailey's project is done. Another crisis averted. And bells went down without a fuss. Uh, that's great. Oh, um, don't worry about that. I'll pick those up. You know what? Just leave them. Really? Yeah, sure. It's no problem. Okay. You know, Georgia, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to... Abandon me at a bed and breakfast and force me to write poetry? Yeah. I was just trying to help. I know. So I saw you got some writing done. Yes, I did. Filled up a whole notebook, in fact. That's great. So, anything you're pleased with? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you can submit something next year. You know what? I already did. But I, th I thought you... I know, but I, I looked online and researched the past winners. Let's just say I'm not the only mom on the planet writing bad poetry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, what is it? Even though I wanted to kill you for leaving me there, you were right about the poetry thing. The other night when I was writing, I felt so light. That's good. So, what's the problem? I guess I just don't want to wait another five to six years to do it again. So what do you need? Regular time, maybe? Once a week? How about this? Starting this Saturday, I'm going to take the kids to the park. Give you a chance to write. And I mean write, okay? No cleaning, <laughs> tidying up, or calling the bank. <laughs> that sounds perfect. And I also think we need to uh, rearrange the budget so you can get up to floors every once in a while. Oh, you think so, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Especially since I did such a good job with the kids this weekend. Ah! <laughs> what? Got Bailey out of the bathroom, didn't I? Yeah, by calling me. See what I mean? That's <laughs> brilliant. Picking up those socks. 